Hello everyone, my name is Jen and welcome to The Book Refuge. Hello friends, welcome to another quarterly anticipated reads video. So in this one we'll be covering winter releases. So it will have uh, December 2024 and then January and February of 2025. I just started doing it this way, doing it quarterly because especially because I read so many indie books, the release dates change, books pop up sooner than we expected, things like that are happening constantly. So I try not to go too far ahead of my skis as it were with books that will be coming out. And so this isn't set in stone. This is as close to the correct dates as I could get. Things might move forward, things might disappear. We have no idea, but this is currently what we're at. So I'm going to go over December, January, and February, as well as, well, I'm actually going to start with some books that don't have a date yet, but I believe will be coming out before February, possibly. We'll go over those and then we'll dive in. I try not to take too terribly long with this one. One of the other goals with this video is that, again, because of all the indie authors that I support and that I want to uplift, uh, to the best of my ability, pre-orders really help out authors. So particularly if you're pre-ordering through both um, Amazon or uh, Barnes & Noble, you don't get charged until those books come out. Although with Barnes & Noble, sometimes they put a hold on your card for the amount. So there is that. But with Amazon, for sure, you don't get charged till the book comes out. Um, so you can pre-order these and boost the authors without, you know, you're not out the money until they come out. But also don't forget that they're coming out because then, you know, you might have a surprise later on. But any of the pre-orders that you do um, help out. And I'll have my links down below because if you pre-order through that, it also helps me out. So there we go. That's how it works. So let's go ahead and dive into these. So I said I was going to start with some that don't have a date yet. Um, so there will be Entwined by Rebecca Quinn. This one was supposed to come out. I think this was scheduled back for like September and then she pulled it. She said it would still be this fall. Well, we were kind of have passed that, but she has been putting out teases for it now. And I think she, her last update is that it was finished, but now it's being edited and everything. So we could still see this either the end of this year or the beginning of next year. My guess is it would be beginning of next year, but we're supposed to be getting entwined, which will wrap up her, uh, this trilogy or whatever. I binged books one and two of this uh, earlier this year and I loved them, but they have horrible cliffhangers. So I really need Entwined. And part of the reason I read those two is that Entwined was supposed to come out in less than a month. And then she ripped us, ripped it out from underneath us. And now I wish I'd waited, but that's okay. Bewitching Rago by Victoria Aveline. So this will be the next book in the Clacanian series, which I love. And this is another one that back in July, she said this should be out in fall of 2024. And we're quickly closing the gap for that to happen. But life happens for people. So who knows? But that is one I'm keeping my eye on. And as soon as I have a date, it will go on my TBR because I'm looking forward to it. And then this is one that this is just a hope. This is a wish. I have no idea when it will be. But Sam Mariano is working on the final books in the Coastal Elite series. <clears throat> and she is planning to finish all of those books before she starts releasing them so that she can do a back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back release. And those could be any time because she isn't telling us where she's at or what's happening with those. Whether it's going to be two or three books, she didn't know. But I'm going to have it on a keeping my eye out no matter what because it could be coming. Okay, now we'll go through December pretty quickly because if you saw my December TBR, these are overlap, but I'm still putting it in here because I do December, January, February ones. And maybe you don't like to watch monthly TBRs, so you wouldn't know about them. But here we go. There is Keep Me by Sarah Kate. I have an arc of that one already. The Mirror in the Mountain by Dana Evan. I just received a copy of book one and I have the opportunity for an arc of this one. So we'll see if I get to them in time. King of the Cage by Mila Kane. Haven't read a Mila Kane in a while. Forever the Highlands by Samantha Young. Bourbon and Secrets by Victoria Wilder. I can't wait for this one. The Holiday Clause by Anne Einerson, another little holiday novella. 
No Ordinary Duchess by Elizabeth Hoyt. It has been four years since we've gotten a book from Elizabeth Hoyt, so I'm ready. She's a Wild One by Kristen Proby. And See It Through by Julia Wolf. I'm very hopeful I'll get an arc of that one soon. Um, last year for Thanksgiving is when I had the arc of P.S. You're Intolerable, and that became my favorite book of 2023. So oh, very excited for that one. Sweet Prison by Neva Altaj. This will be the 10th book in her Perfectly Imperfect series. Manny by Mackenzie Fox. This is an MMF biker romance. North is the Night by Emily Rath. Rath. This is a sapphic uh, fantasy based on Finnish folklore. So, intrigued by that. Tem a Tempest of Desire by Lorraine Heath. I do have an e-arc of that one. The Wild Wolf's Rejected Mate by Kate C. Wells. Now, I didn't have this on my TBR for December because she announced it after I already made that TBR. But I am on her ARC team, so I should get a copy of that. Undeniably Married by Jay Shaman. Married to the Devil by Lillian Lark. I believe this is still coming December 30th. It has moved twice. Um, and there's no cover release yet, so I don't know, but I'm hopeful. Stealing for Keeps by Rebecca Jenchak. Now, I haven't read a Rebe Rebecca Jenchak yet, but I did sign up for possible PR for this one, so... If I get it, I'll try it. We'll see. A Promise of Lies by Claire Sager. I still haven't started this series yet either, but I received a copy of book one, so I want to try to get to these. Mr. Broody by Piper Rain. This will be the second book in the uh, Nest series. Okay, now we go into January of 2024, or 2025, which is just wild. Um, and that starts off with Promise Me by Megan Brandy. This is exciting. An Empire of Temptation by Mila Finelli. So this will be a new series starting from her, aka this is Joanna Shoup. This is going to be the New York State Mafia. I believe it's going to be a spinoff from the uh, Kings of Italy, but I don't know actually. because She hasn't spoken about it in a while, but I don't care. I love her Mafia books. We'll read it no matter what. Thick as Thieves by Maggie Rodden. And what I did discover before I wrote this down, so I thought this was the next one after Bull Rush, but I think it might be a part of her other series. I don't know, but I have it on here anyway. I'm currently reading Bull Rush, so maybe I'll be to this one by then. I don't know. Then I actually just received in the mail yesterday The Empress by Kristen Cass. This will be from Bloom one of their fantasy ones, and this one is a series based on tarot. So this is, yeah, this is the Empress, and it's called, like, the World of Arcana. So the World of Towerfall. So there we go. I received a physical arc of that one. The Dryad Storm by Lori Forrest. Now, I'm very nervous for this one because this is finally finally supposed to be the end of the Black Witch Chronicles. I've been reading this series for many years. Um, I don't remember it too well, but I didn't reread before I read book four and I was okay. I'll probably do the same with this one just because I don't have time to reread those books. They were very big, but I enjoyed this series a lot, so I'm going to hang in there. Visions of Darkness by A.L. Jackson. So this is going to be her first fantasy book, and I already have an arc of this one, so I will be reading it soon. And I may also be interviewing her for the release of this one, so we'll see. The Proposal Play by Lauren Blakely. This will be the next book in her current, like, the boyfriend, what is it, the boyfriend, it's the romance line, the boyfriend goal. The boyfriend goal, the romance line, and this will be the proposal, proposal play. Waiting on You by Nikki Ash. I'll be getting an arc of this one as well. I have really enjoyed the first two books, particularly Hooked on You. I liked a lot. Although this one is going to be secret pregnancy. It's not just accidental, it's secret because Nikki Ash really likes secret pregnancy, she says. So we'll see. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Secret pregnancy 
is a scary one for me. But I, I mean, I like accidental pregnancy. We'll just see what the reason is. <clears throat> the Simple Life by Melanie Moreland. I believe this is kind of going to be, it's a small town, possibly like cowboy vibes. Not sure. But this one was just announced the other day. Excited about it. The Way We Score by Tia Louise. The Broker by Nikki Sloan. This will be a part of the Nashville Neighborhood series, and I cannot wait. Oh, I love books from her so much. Reckless Love by Willow Astor. Just Like That by Lena Hendricks. This will be a part of the King series. Stolen Chances by Cleo Evans. So I signed up for an arc of this one. We'll see if I get it. But this was a small town um, with like slight kinkiness in it, but yet it was still kind of like a romantic suspense with like, I don't know, I really liked the first one in the series. It was really good. Better Than Friends by Jill Chavez. So I signed up for an arc of this one. I've never read a Jill Chavez, but sometimes signing up for an arc is what gets me into it. And this looked like a cozy small town. So we'll see. We'll see. Only in Your Dreams by Ellie K. Wild. I was offered an arc of this one from, uh, who sent this? I can't remember. But I was sent an arc of this and I thought I would give it a go. We'll see if I get around to it. The Apple Tree by Jewel E. Ann. This is the next book after Sunday morning. It's going to be about Sarah's younger sister. I don't know how much longer it takes place after it or whatever, but the first one was like a small town, very sheltered girls to start with, but I really enjoyed Sunday morning, so I signed up for an arc of this one too. If You Give a CEO a Chance by Ann Einerson, this will be her next like full length book. The Holiday Clause will be a short one, right? Then we have Onyx Storm by Rebecca Yaros. I pre-ordered the special copy of this one. I'm super excited. I'm scared, but I'm really excited for it. Out of the Woods by Hannah Bonham Young will be coming. This, I think, will be the first one that is like a new release from her that wasn't just her backlist being republished. So it should be a good one. Unloved by Peyton Corinne. I was so lucky to get an e-arc of this one, so I can't wait to read that. Under an Endless Moon by A.L. Jackson. This will be the next one in her moon is next in Moonlit Ridge. A Rebel Without Claws by Juliet Cross. I actually have already read this one. I read an early, early arc of this one, and it was amazing. Can't wait for you guys to get it. Scythe and Sparrow by Bryn Weaver. This will be the third book and I think the last one in the like scary love trilogy, whatever it was called. Sin With Me by Brooke Montgomery. This will be the final book in the Sugarland Creek series and I am really intrigued with this one, okay? I am because in book four, this is the that is the first twin story. That was Waylon's story. This one's going to be Wilder's story. And after seeing what Wilder has been doing to himself and to his family for years, I'm really interested in his. And also that one was an ex's younger sister. And this one is going to be brother's ex-girlfriend because the, the woman who's the ex and that's her younger sisters with Waylon it's going to be the ex who gets with Wilder. So sisters with brothers is what that's going to be very interesting. And I believe they get married in Vegas is the story with that, I think. So we'll see. Here and Now by Corinne Michaels. I believe this is the next one in her small town series. It actually didn't have a series title by it where I found it, but I'm on her arc team. So I know I'll be getting that one whenever, whichever it is. When We Burn by Kristen Proby. So this one is going to be the start of a new series. So uh, She's a Wild One, I believe, is the last one in that series. I maybe missed it. There may be another one in that one, but I'm not sure. I think that'll be the last one. And then um, this will be the first in the Blackwells of Montana, which I think will, you know, spin off into that. All of her books are connected, you know, the authors who, who do that. So yeah. The Charlie Method by L. Kennedy. This will be the third and last book in the, is it Off Campus is what it is? Campus Diaries. I always get those wrong. The Campus Diaries series. 
And then Crazy Imperfect Hearts by Samantha Christie. And that is a part of like the Montana Brothers is what that series is. So yeah. So anyway, those are all the ones I currently have on my radar right now. Let me know if I missed any. Now let me pick like five that I'm most excited for, which is hard, but let's do it. So in December, I'm most excited for See It Through. Like that is I don't even have to blink about it. I'm most excited for that one. Also for Keep Me, which I've been having to force myself not to read yet because I'm supposed to be getting an ALC of that one soon. So I don't want to like read it and then have to listen to the ALC like right after. So I'm like waiting, but it's going to be Scottish. It's a marriage of convenience and like modern day. I can't, I'm just, I'm so excited for it. It's going to be so good. Um, also the Neva Altage, very excited for that one. In January, I'm most excited for Onyx Storm. I mean, I just am. I really enjoy that. Um, I'm excited to see what Mila Finelli, what her new Mafia series will be. Looks pretty cool. I don't have tons of Mafia on my like TBR. I've read still a lot of Mafia, but like Neva Altage and is really one of the only ones I'm like excited for their new releases, you know? So also let's see what other ones. Yeah. Onyx Storm, the, oh, the broker. I am. I love Nikki Sloan's erotic romances are so good. And then in February, definitely unloved and the Charlie method are probably the ones there. So Okay, we'll wrap this one up. This video doesn't need to be a million long, so I'll just wrap it up there where we are. But uh, yeah, let me know what let me know what you think of those. Let me know what you're most excited for. Again, if you're able to pre-order any of these books, I'll have links down below. It helps out the authors. It helps out little old me. So definitely check those out. But thank you so much for watching, friends. It means the world to me. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, check out my Patreon or channel memberships or give a gift to the channel if you want to support what I do. This is my full-time gig, so any support you can give me is helpful. Thanks so much for watching, friends, and I'll see you next time. Bye.